This F-150, the owner of this F-150, I did a brake job on the truck and uh, he wanted the performance rotors as you can see. I cleaned the hub, we installed the rotor, we checked the run out, we're well within spec. I think this one turned out to be about a thousandth run out. So we're well within our spec here. Now it's time to put the brake pads on. Well, in this case, this particular F-150 came with ceramic brake pads on it. Now, in this case, this driver does not haul anything with this truck. It's basically used as a passenger vehicle. Uh, there's no trailer hitch on it. I mean, it's, it's just a pickup truck used as a passenger car. So I'm gonna put ceramics back on this vehicle. But here's the, here's the question you have to ask your customer. Maybe this truck, this F-150 is being used as a, as a landscaping vehicle. Maybe it's a plumber or electrician and he hauls a lot of weight with the vehicle. Then the ceramic pads that came on the vehicle might not be the best choice for that vehicle. In fact, in most cases, when you go up to an F-250, F-350, then you start getting the semi-metallic. But some people treat this F-150 like an F-350 and they haul way too much weight with it. The ceramic brake pads probably are not the best choice for that. Then I would change them over to a semi-met pad. Now a real easy way to see what was on the vehicle is to look at the rotor that you took off. Now in this case, the rotor we took off, I can see the, the material transfer from that ceramic to that rotor and it's very obvious on the rotor the other thing that's very obvious is there is no lip whatsoever on the end of the rotor now that would tell me if there was a lip on there and there was a real bumpy surface then that would tell me that it had semi-metallic pads on there and if the driver was happy with the results i'd put those back on but since this vehicle had ceramics on the driver was happy with them the vehicle is not used to carry any weight of of any sort we're going to put ceramics back on